what comes to your mind when we talk about the most polluted cities in the world? New Delhi, perhaps? Or Beijing? But what if I told you that it is in fact Kathmandu that has topped the list of being the most polluted city in the world? Let's take a look at this report. A small glimpse of forest fire seen north of Narayangar along the highway, hundreds of little fires like this are occurring all over Nepal, leading to high air pollution all over the country. What is the government doing about this forest fire and smog? Everest should be visible in the background, but haze from fires limited our view. Tweets that flared up as forest fires raged through large parts of Nepal, the Himalayan nation is facing an unprecedented wildfire disaster. As of the 17th of April, Nepal recorded 1,134 forest fire cases in 24 hours, the highest in the nation's history of forest fires. On the 16th of April, 612 forest fire incidents were reported, mostly in the southern eastern region. 58 of 77 districts have been affected. Every day there is a um, this day in April, in an average 500 uh, forest fires, so wildfires are burning in our forest in Nepal. So due to that uh, reason, we are uh, sitting in the chamber of uh, smoke uh, this time. The result is in the air itself. The country's capital, Kathmandu, was shrouded in thick smog. Buildings were seen engulfed in dark clouds of smoke-like air. The Air Quality Index, or AQI, crossed the 190 mark. In a report released by IQ Air, a Swiss air quality tech company, it declared Kathmandu as the most polluted among 101 cities in the world. Earlier, when I used to come here, I could see the Dharahara Tower more clearly, but now I have to search for it as the haze has shrouded Kathmandu. I have realized the extent of pollution that exists here. I'm not able to see Kathmandu due to pollution. I came to Kirtipur to see the valley from a hilltop but could not see anything, so I'm returning to my house. Forest fire incidents are not unusual in Nepal between mid-November and May. Over 3,000 forest fire incidents were recorded this time. The Nepal Disaster Risk Reduction Management Authority said the entire country is fire-prone. In 2021, Nepal witnessed an unprecedented wildfire disaster recording 6,799 incidents, affecting 75 districts of the country. As many as 11 people lost their lives and several houses were destroyed. In 2022, the country saw over 1,500 wildfire cases and almost 23 houses were destroyed while three people lost their lives. It is expected that Nepal will record over 9,000 forest fire cases by the end of this year. Almost all these fires are human-induced. As per the Nepal Disaster Risk Reduction Authority, intentional burning for stimulation of new grass and negligent smokers alone attribute about 45% of fires among all known causes of forest fires. Now the cases are taking place around the Kathmandu Valley, which is deteriorating the air quality in the capital and forcing the airport authorities to cancel the flights and also leading to health issues among the public. Officials at the National Disaster Risk Department have said that Nepal lacks the institution and the mechanism to control and prevent the forest fire cases and therefore every year there's a rise in the cases leading to sometimes death and destruction of the properties. There is still no dedicated section or cell to look after the forest fires in Nepal yet. As per the Nepali authorities, the country lacks institutional mechanisms and policies to tackle forest fires. No dedicated institutional arrangement, no trained human resources, inadequate firefighting tools and equipment, no feasible financial resources for long-term plans. Analysts say, while fires have emerged as the single biggest threat to Nepal's forests and its biodiversity, preventing these fierce fires requires a multifaceted approach involving everyone, from the government to local communities, everyone has a role to play.